Even the most righteous people have dirty secrets that they will hide to the last. This story is about a woman who is tired of her boring family life. One day, a young and active boy appears on her doorstep. He is an exact copy of her husband, and the heroine hurries to get from the moments of their close acquaintance all that she lacks in marriage. How deep their relationship will go and how this affair will end. We will find out at the end of the movie. This is Mr. Narrator, enjoy the movie. Anna is getting her daughters ready for school. Her husband Peter is not happy that the heroine invites patients to her home and argues with him. The woman communicates with the client in her office. The girl is worried about the fact that she changed seven partners for a year, and the lawyer comforts her. In the evening Anna reads a story to her children. The daughter wants to wait for a relative to arrive, but her mother persuades her to sleep. The woman is working on the veranda when her husband arrives with Gustav. The girls are happy about their brother's arrival and show him what gifts they have prepared for his arrival. Peter suggests that his son arrange the room to his taste. Anna is chatting with her manicurist about Gustav. Near the door of the house she finds Gustav's keychain. She is about to give it to her boy, but discovers the room is a mess and starts to clean it up. Gustav comes out of the bathroom in a towel. Anna forgets about the keychain and asks him about the book the boyfriend is reading. Late at night the heroine is visited by her client. She does not want to testify against the criminal. The next day the woman picks up the girls from school. At home she hears her husband fighting with her son. Gustav goes for a walk in the forest. The husband complains to the woman about misunderstandings with the adult child. Anna offers to involve the boy in the life of the family. After the court session, Anna supports the girl and approves of her act. In the parking lot, she sees the client's abuser and approaches to reprimand him. At home, the woman notices the mess. She calls her husband to tell him about the robbery and asks Gustav to check what could be missing from the guy's room. At the office, the heroine is told off for violating legal ethics. She tries to explain her position on the matter to her partner. At home, Anna is going to do the laundry. In Gustav's jeans she finds a keychain that Frida gave him. When the boy returns from school, the heroine gives him the keychain and asks how the thing ended up in his possession, if it was in the bag stolen by the robbers. Gustav is outraged that the woman went through his things. Anna accuses the guy of staging the robbery and offers him two options. Gustav can confess everything to his father and explain himself to the police, or he must blend into the family's life. On the weekend the family has a barbecue. Gustav plays with his sisters outside the house. The guy asks the girls questions about what they like and records their answers on his father's old tape recorder. In the evening, Anna drinks wine and reviews work documents in the dining room. Gustav introduces his stepmother to his friend Amanda. The couple leaves the woman. After a while, Anna hears sounds that come from the guy's room. Going up to the room, the heroine undresses and looks at her body in the mirror. The next day, Anna asks questions at a meeting in court. In the evening she convinces her husband to actively spend time in the bedroom. On the weekend a woman and her children go to the river. While she is working, the girls find different shells on the shore. Gustav offers the woman to go swimming. At first, she refuses, citing work. But suddenly she changes her mind and joins the children. They have fun splashing water on each other. On the way home, the girls fall asleep. Anna and Gustav are chatting in the living room. The woman asks her stepson about his tattoos. He suggests she get a tattoo too and together they choose a spot on her arm. In the next scene guests arrive at their home. Anna is frankly bored listening to the talk about birds and to make the atmosphere brighter. The heroine turns on music. She starts dancing but no one supports her mood so the woman makes herself another cocktail. Gustav is going to the bar and sees that Anna is bored near the house. The woman wants to keep the guy company. In the bar, the heroine treats Gustav to a drink and they chat about Amanda. When the guy is about to leave, Anna kisses him. In front of the house, the woman takes off her shoes. Her husband is angry with her for leaving him alone with the guests. In the office, Anna and her assistant watch footage of abrasions on a case the woman is on. To recover from what she has seen, the heroine goes to refresh herself at the lake. From behind the trees, the woman watches Peter playing hide-and-seek with the children. Suddenly, behind the tree where she was hiding, Gustav hides. Anna scrutinizes the profile of her stepson. The guy, however, gently guides the woman's hand, causing strange sensations in her. At night, the heroine cannot sleep, remembering the touch of Gustav. The woman gets out of bed to get a drink of water. 
On the way to the dining room, she notices that the door to the guy's room is open. When Anna walks in, Gustav is lying on the bed reading a book. She doesn't say anything, sits on the edge of the bed, and starts massaging his legs. Gustav likes what is happening and doesn't mind his stepmother continuing the massage. Anna shows the guy that she agrees to move on to more active actions. They do gymnastics on the floor, after Anna thanks the guy and goes to her bedroom. In the morning, the heroine buys a laptop to give to her stepson. Peter is surprised by the deed of his wife and asks to consult with him in such matters. The couple gathers for dinner outside the house and says goodbye to the children. Anna and her husband return late at night. The heroine wants to spend time alone with Peter. The man invites her to go upstairs where they have fun. In the morning, the woman talks to an underage client and persuades her to seek help from social services. At home, she sees Gustav reading a fairy tale to his sisters. This pleases the woman. The next day, Anna was clearing the table when she sees her stepson downstairs outside the house. Secluded in the bathroom, Gustav warms up to the heroine to get to know her deeper. At this time, Peter comes home. He is surprised to see the girls playing at home and is looking for his wife. To continue getting to know Peter's son, Anna spends time with him in the woods. Then she puts her daughters to bed. The next morning, she and Gustav start with physical exercise at the girls' birthday party. Anna goes to get some water. Gustav catches her in the dining room and starts kissing her. The sister sees this. The girl reproaches Anna that Gustav is very young and goes home. The heroine feels guilty. The guy wants to help her collect dirty dishes, but she rudely answers him and leaves. Gustav feels resentful. He climbs a tree to get the guest's attention. Peter asks his son to stop fooling around and come down, but the guy falls out of the tree. He makes a bad joke, which angers his father even more. Offended, Gustav goes for a walk in the forest. Peter complains to his wife about the difficulties of raising a son. At night, Anna cannot sleep, reflecting on what has happened. Early in the morning, she communicates with the guy in the forest. The woman wants to end their affair and asks to keep everything secret. After a while, Anna returns home and catches her husband and Gustav in the yard. Peter tells his wife that he wants to live a few days with his son in their summer house. The heroine reproaches him for not spending enough time with his daughters. The man tells his wife about her sister's call. In the evening, she reads a fairy tale to the girls. Frida is curious why they did not go to Sweden with their father and brother. Before school, Anna and the girls visit her sister. The heroine wants to explain herself, but Lena does not want to listen to her sister. Anna goes home to think about what is happening in her life and leaves a voice message for her husband. Later, she goes to pick up the girls. The heroine tries to find her cell phone. Distracted by the road, Anna fails to control her car. At home, the girls notice that their father and brother have returned. From the veranda of the house, the woman watches the conversation of the men. The girls meet their father and tell him the latest news. After putting the children to bed, Peter waits for his wife in the dining room. The man tells his wife that his son wants to move to a boarding house. Gustav tells his father about the affair with his stepmother. Anna denies the connection with her stepson and arranges a scandal for her husband to justify herself. The heroine tells her husband that Gustav robbed their house. She pretends that she wants to part with her husband, and Peter tries to calm his wife. In the morning, Anna takes the tapes from Gustav's room, which compromise her in front of her husband. Peter decides to talk to his son in front of his wife to expose him for the lie he is. The woman denies their affair. The boy sees that his father doesn't believe him and shuts down. When Anna approaches Gustav, he spits in her face. In the morning, Guy loads his belongings into his father's car and says goodbye to his sisters. In the next scene, Peter and Anna are sitting in the living room. The man is sad about his separation from his son. A girl, whom the woman recently helped to thank, comes to their home. In the morning, Gustav is waiting for Anna in the office. He demands that the woman confess everything to Peter. The heroine is not going to give in to the blackmail of the guy. She suggests that he accept her version of events or stay away from their family. At Christmas, the girls are given a dog. Late at night, Gustav knocks on the house. The boy wants to talk to his father. The woman tells her stepson that he is taking up too much space in their lives and chases him away. At Anna's birthday party, her friends gather. The heroine makes another attempt to reconcile with her sister. Peter spoke on the phone with his ex-wife. He tells Anna that Gustav is missing. The woman is walking in the woods with the dog. At home, she asks her husband why he and the children have not left. 
Peter informs her that he has been called to the police in Stockholm. The woman wants to go with him, but her husband refuses. She does housework all day waiting for news from her husband and falls asleep on the sofa in the living room. Peter returns late at night. He tells his wife that Gustav was found in the woods. The boy wanted to walk to their summer house, but he couldn't. Anna is crying in the bathroom. She is saddened by the news about her boyfriend and has a guilty conscience. In the mirror, she sees Gustav, who looks at the woman reproachfully. The heroine realizes that she has begun to hallucinate on a nervous basis. In the bedroom, she tries to comfort her husband, but Peter does not want to hear anything from his wife. In the final scene, the family gathers at the cemetery. The girls and Peter want to say goodbye to Gustav. Anna closes the house and silently accompanies her family. This was the 2019 movie Queen of Hearts. Do you think the heroine of the movie would have behaved the same way if he had known the consequences of his lie? Should he have insisted on the truth, or was it easier to accept the stepmother's words? See you in the next review.